The Tao of Self-Confidence, Episode 727. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. Visit our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits. Well, hello, friend. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. I'm your host today, Sheena Yapchan, and today I have an amazing lady on the show today. She is an artist based in LA, and I'm really excited to have her on and share her story with us today on self-confidence. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Jasmine Raphael. Jasmine, how are you today? Maybe you can fill in a little bit more about yourself to the listeners. Hi, I'm Jasmine Raphael. I'm so thankful to be on today. I'm an artist and creative living in Los Angeles. I am a professional dancer, choreographer, and dance instructor. And I also act and sing and write and do poetry and all of these crazy random things that just help me, I think, connect to honestly myself and to other people. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And Jasmine, what's your cultural background? I'm Filipina, Filipino American. Yeah, that's, that's what I am. Thanks for sharing that. And what be your favorite self confidence quote? So many, but one that actually is in my mind right now is she who is everywhere is nowhere. And I think it's like Marcus Aurelius or something. It's he who is everywhere is nowhere. And I, it just gives me confidence in providence in terms of like you can be confident that you're where you're supposed to be and you don't need to think about all the places that you're not and that that helps me have self-confidence in knowing I can just be fully present in where I am and that to do any to be anything other than that would be wouldn't serve me so yeah thanks for sharing that great quote and in your own words how do you define self-confidence Self-confidence. I think self-confidence is actually, at this moment in my life, I believe it's actually selflessness because it means you're confident in yourself and in what you've created for yourself and the life that you've created that you're able to not only be so absorbed in like this manipulation of your self-image or anything like that and you can focus on other people and giving back to society or the people around you like to me that's true self-confidence when I see people that are able to like not be so overly focused on themselves but like can be focused on the world and what the world needs I think that exudes confidence for some reason that's at least what's speaking to me right now thanks for sharing that and it does make a difference when you're focused on helping others or creating a bigger impact in the world because you know you are willing to take action on the things that is bigger than yourself and you know having that purpose gives you that boost so thanks for sharing that great definition and jasmine what was your life like before your discovery of self-confidence i feel like i'm discovering self-confidence honestly like every minute of every day but i mean i think before i knew that I was capable of, of creating a life that I wanted to live and create and create impact. I don't know. I just, and sometimes I still do. Like I search for confidence in other places or I had searched for it externally in so many places thinking that different things were going to like solve like the answer to who I am. And it's just kind of maddening. And it's like a wild goose chase that you can never satisfy with anything else, with any relationship, any job, any like validation. So yeah, it kind of makes you run in circles and miss miss your life thanks for sharing that and i think that's you know something we all go through we go through real life trying to chase some answer that we're fighting like looking for not realizing like you know it's always been within us and when we can realize like we are the answer to whatever problems we go through it's just we can face the truth and realize like it's up to us. It's our responsibility to make that change regardless of our circumstances. But what was that point in your life when you realized you can go out there and have the confidence um, that you have today? What was that aha moment? Dang, I don't know. I don't know if it's like it's an aha moment or if it's, you know, it is just like a general progression. But I think I just like have always kind of known that like through growing up that I that you can actually solve anything 
I don't know. Like you can put your your mind to it, and I think I just always wanted to create things and connect and dance and perform. And I just knew you had to have the confidence for that. I think in different situations, the aha moments of confidence are when you realize, like, okay, I need to change this situation, and I'm gonna be okay. Like for example, if you're like in a toxic environment in our toxic relationship or in a job that doesn't serve you or you're acting a way that doesn't serve you I think the aha moment is when you're just like hey I'm gonna be okay if I try to change this for the better I'm gonna be okay if I exit this situation and I think once you make some those decisions they're scary at first because you don't know like really what's gonna happen when you first start making confident choices in terms of like what is best for you if you're used to choosing like things that aren't good for you it's hard at first but once you start to make those decisions it's very scary but then you're like okay this is an aha moment I know that this is how I feel and I'm really really scared to choose this but I have confidence that I'm gonna make it work I see that this is the best for me right now so I'm gonna choose this you know I think it's just choosing to love yourself despite how hard that may be because it is it is scary to just honestly try to a lot of times it feels lonely to choose what's best for you or yeah thanks for sharing that and i love how you mentioned you know it's, it is up to us to choose right make those choices make those confident decisions and yeah it is scary because you know we never know what's going to happen but you know sometimes just not knowing can be a great thing because you never know what surprises may come in store um sometimes when you least expect it and i think the more when the more we can realize that and be excited about it versus being scared about it and thinking it's the end of the world it'll make life a lot better and yeah you know sometimes we feel like we're in this journey alone but you know there's so many other women who feel the same way and they just don't know that you know we're all in this together and when we realize we're not alone in this journey it just makes our life you know i guess a lot easier and a lot lighter knowing that we can overcome it so because of that what's your life been like now you know it is it Every time I pay attention in each season or in different days uh, or, in, you know, in my everyday to choose what's uncomfortable for me and to try to act with integrity, great things have come to my life. And I love what I do. You know, I love the, the opportunities that I get, my, you know, the relationships that I have with my family and my friends and truly... Actually, to be honest, I, I'm still sort of making up for a lot of years of fear that I that I kind of participated in, too. So now I would say my life is in <laughs> recovery mode from all of those years. There's a lot of relationships that, you know, I allowed to, you know, drift from me out of fear or, or turned away from and things like that. And so ever since I've chosen that I want to live a life of integrity and confidence in myself and in the universe... It's been hard. It's definitely not been easy, but I feel a lot better about myself, to be honest. I feel at peace knowing that I'm willing to to do the right thing. For me, confidence is choosing to do the right So. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And you know, to the woman who's listening to your episode, she may be in her own journey to self-confidence. What would be that one tip you would give to her? I would say... Uh, exactly actually what you just said which is there's a quote that says what if i fall and then it says oh my darling what if you fly and i think that maybe embracing the unknown is is the answer instead of being so afraid of like it being the end of the world but it's the beginning of so many possibilities when you start to choose something different in your life and it is hard but I'm there with you, you know, we're all trying to just do the right thing. And, and yeah, enjoy, have fun, smile every day, be around people that make you like laugh. I think that's super important too. Thanks for sharing those great tips. And if our listeners wanted to get to know a little bit more about you and what you do and check out some of your work, is there any links or social media profiles we can connect with? Yes, my Instagram is at Jasmine J. Raphael. I also have a website where you can keep updated on everything that I'm doing or sharing. It's www.jasminerafael.com. Thanks for sharing that. And to our listeners, if you want to connect with Jasmine, you can also head on over to the selfconfidence.com and search for Jasmine's name. Her show notes will pop up along with everything else that we talked about. And I really just want to thank Jasmine today for taking the time to share her story and tips with us on self-confidence. So thank you so much, Jasmine. Thank you so much. 
Not a problem. It was really great having you on the show. And to our listeners, be on the lookout for another new episode of Another Amazing Woman's Journey to Self-Confidence. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Bye. Thank you for tuning in to another amazing episode of The Tao of Self-Confidence. Visit our website at thetowofselfconfidence.com to check out cool resources, blog articles, show recaps, and so much more. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits.